everybody, let's talk about solos today. How can I play something in such a way that people listen? To play something that catches the ear, get the attention, create emotion. It's like telling a story. It's not only what you say, it's the way you say it. So let's talk about that today. Let's start with phrasing. What does phrasing mean? Phrasing um, basically is the way we cut music into pieces. You know, music is a language and when we talk, we use words, we use sentences and when we write something down, we use a comma, we use a full stop, a question mark and it's basically the same thing when we play the guitar. So we play two, two notes maybe, that might be enough, and then stop, stop. 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 And now automatically you create something what has a meaning. You can play short phrases, you can play longer phrases, you can play very long phrases, you can play complex phrases. Um, what you really need to do is make a small rest between the phrases and don't forget to breathe. You know, playing the guitar is just like talking, so you really want to breathe. And there's another thing very important. Um, it's easy to begin a phrase, but it's very hard to stop a phrase. So you really have to anticipate what you want to do. So when I was here, when I, when I was playing here, I thought about this ending. So the, the next phrase, maybe I start here and I think about the ending here. So this is very important to find a good ending for your phrase. Another idea is playing motifs, something like this. And then I repeat the motive and I um, just make a small variation. Variation. Another motive. Variation. Another motive. Variation. Another motive. When you're doing this, you start talking and then your music becomes a language. You can play motives all along the fretboard. Maybe you can start here. And just move. Move to other positions. Something like this. Another very important point is dynamics. So dynamic can mean a lot of different things. Um, you can start maybe in lower positions and you find your way to the higher positions uh, of the guitar. Or maybe you can increase the speed. Start very slowly. Of course you can combine the two of them, so start slowly here and end with very fast licks over here, which is something uh, a lot of the great rock guitar players used to do. Well, there's another way you can um, increase the, um, the intensity of your playing just while staying in this position. <laughs> This might 
be a little subtle, but it's very nice to me. And this is something I use a lot. Just um, increase the intensity. It's nice to have a good opening lick. And after the opening lick, you make a little rest, a little break and breathe. And this is very important because um, your, your opening lick is much more catchy when you make a little a little stop after the lick. It's something like, hey, listen up, it's me, I'm playing the solo. You also want to take care on how to end your solo. So if you start it here, and after a while you're here. So this might work. Um, I personally try to avoid cliché endings, that makes my life much easier and uh, to me it's important just to make a strong statement so everybody knows this is it. We all know the situation, we're playing a solo and we kind of get stuck and don't know what to do and maybe you can try something else, do something unexpected. Change the pickup. Change the sound. This is my, my face sound. Or um, maybe just throw away your pick. Play with fingers. something unexpected, surprise yourself and surprise the audience. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.